What's going on, YouTube? What's going on, YouTube? Listen up, listen up. If you're new to the channel, whether you're not, whatever, go ahead, drop me a like, leave a comment, share a video, where you share cool things, and don't forget to go ahead and hit that. Subscribe. All right, let's go. This is going to be a part two of my recent video, three fra three forgotten fragrances. So let's get to it. Let's roll. All right. So first one. We have this cologne called CK1 Shock for Him by Calvin Klein. Now, I'm not exactly sure when this was released, but I will say, first and foremost, that this is a... This is actually an eau, this is an eau de toilette, and really that means like kind of like the very base level of colognes people should be buying, not really what colognes, what colognes people, what what's the highest price cologne? So this is kind of affordable. This is a nice little good cheapie. I got it for about $20. It's pretty nice, pretty good, and nice, lovely, and fresh. Not to mention, this is a, this is a fragrance that was curated and made by um, the famous perfumer Alberto Morias, who is also the perfumer of Versace Aero. So y'all see the bottle, this is a nice, pretty good bottle. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't done like a quick look on this, so hang tight. Next, we have Polo Red Eau de Parfum. I'm actually gonna make a separate video for this one talking about, I have to, I kinda have to retcon it because it actually lasts longer than just 45 minutes, I have to stress tested and all this other good stuff and be, beat it by the boot pop in. So yeah, this is a Polo Red Eau de Parfum. Um, it's a nice new bottle, nice sleek. Kind of didn't really think, eh. I was, I was kind of like, eh, I don't know. I was kind of a little iffy about it, but it's nice. It's nice, smooth, and it's very pleasant. Has some cranberry. I know it has cranberry or pink pepper in here but I gotta go back and look at the fragrance notes that's all in here and you know we'll talk back about that again also pretty decent I'll say pretty easy to wear fragrance so you need something a little simple you know go ahead try this and now we're on to another fragrance that a lot of people may not necessarily know of because it's I would say it's kind of between designer or a little bit before designer. It's kind of like a more personal fragrance brand. So I'm talking about the one, I'm talking about the one, the only, with a prominent iris note for Narcy, for him, Nar Narcisa Rodriguez, for him, Blue Noir Parfum. Now, I got this actually off of Amazon. This is a 3.4 ounce. Yes. Oh, my bad. This is a 3.3 ounce bottle of Narciso Rodriguez. As you can see, I've made a little bit of a dent in here. And this is a, this is a pretty good, this is pretty decent. I have to, you know, it's pretty nice. It's like iris, but the thing is it kind of, it dries down very quickly. So you do have to be careful and you do have to be aware of that quick dry down. It's nice, pleasant. I don't think you can have no problems with wearing something like this. And let's see about the spray. Mm, not too bad. You know, decent projection, decent spray. And, whew, damn the iris. Oh, shoot. <laughs> My bad, y'all. But, yeah, this is, this is a very good, this is a very good and very prominent iris fragrance. Now I got this I got this off of Amazon for about $88. You know, you can probably get it somewhere else. You can probably get it on a different website. But those websites, I'm really gonna talk about that in a Patreon video. Again, it's gonna be coming, but I gotta look at my Patreon. I gotta look at it when I have some time to go ahead and do that. But yeah, if you definitely want something a little bit different, something a little classy, something, oh damn, I need to go on a date. Damn about to go on a date. I I would recommend personally something like this. It's mm, mm, mm. it's definitely a good. A 
good iris fragrance and plus you know the bottle gives me give me it's like a reminiscence of a blue de chanel bottle but it's not all coated like a dark blue now if you want something easy want something nice for summertime so you get one shot although i will say this if the weather if if the spring summertime weather gets to be about too much you may have to get a higher concentration rather than the eau de toilette because this can only last for so long in a recent or decent climate because if it's like 100 something yeah you you may need to like spray a lot for it to like stick and you know kind of like a really if and just to go back to it if you really want like a no-brainer something something smooth not too loud, too crazy. I definitely, rec I would say, you know, give Polo Red Uda Parfum a try. But other than that, that is it for today's video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, drop me a like, leave a comment, share this video where you share cool things. And don't forget, always, forever, 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 forever always and forever. Smell sexy.